Hello, Buzzverse. Last week, the super respected Wall Street Journal shocked the world with the red line $90 million in crypto used to finance Hamas, the terrorist group. Oh no, the crypto is the bad guy. Let's ban the crypto. Of course, right after that, Elizabeth and her arm and crypto American heirs sent a letter to brush the white rose. They said crypto itself is a threat for the national security. A complete joke, something to be expected from Elizabeth Carey. After all, she's the true boss of sex, Gary. There is only one problem. The Wall Street Journal has made a huge mistake. The article is bogus. Fake news. Never happened. Don't take it from me. The on-chain investigative company Chain Analysis has proven the number was skewed completely wrong. Yes, there is a big transaction, $82 million on blockchain, but it's a grotesque error on the WSJ specialists, as they have confused the transaction volume of a service provider with the address of a terrorist wallet that currently holds just $16 and has not been used for years. Diddy, the Wall Street Journal, he threatened their falsehood after being exposed by its analysis. They refuse. Of course they refuse. They are all in on Elizabeth's care plan to ban crypto. The Wall Street Journal is in caring spots. Now it's Karen versus BlackRock, fighting for the survival of the crypto market itself. No matter who wins, everyone loses. It's a scam!